Hey everyone, Coach Tim here from Hitrition, and I just wanted to show you guys how to set up your MyFitnessPal account. So just go to MyFitnessPal.com and click on sign up on the top right corner. Uh, for username, just make whatever uh, username you like. So we'll put Coach Tim123457. Um, and for email address, it'll be Coach Tim123457. Don't try to email this, please, because it's not real. All right, so after you do that, continue. Um, and go ahead and put in, you know, your current weight, goal weight, all that stuff. Go ahead and be truthful with it. And just go ahead and fill that out. And um, don't worry about um, what you're putting in for your uh, normal daily activities and stuff like that and how many times a week you plan on exercising. What we're going to do, what's most important, is that you want to put in your goal. So your goal is to maintain my current weight. And all we're doing with this is we're trying to make my fitness pal be as unobtrusive as possible so that we can use the macros that he tri that Hitrition has given you to um, start recording your macros and calories and get and start reaching your goals. So go ahead and click save and continue. Um, go ahead and skip this part about inviting friends for now. You can do that later if you like. So as you can see here, has it suggested fitness and nutrition goals? Yeah, don't listen to that stuff. Uh, this one would have me on 274 grams of carbs, 66 grams of fat, and 75 grams of protein per day. And that is just too little for somebody who's working out for protein and way too many carbs and uh, way too many fats actually. So let's go ahead and um, get started now and we're going to adjust those and we're going to set them all to zero so that you can start using your Hitrition macro goals. Okay, so what you want to do at the top of the screen in the middle you want to go to goals and you want to go to change goals so you can change everything to zero and instead of using the guided recommended MyFitnessPal goals we're going to make it custom. Next, what you're going to do is set everything to zero. So that's going to be zero. You don't have to mess with that. It's going to be zero. Go ahead and change saturated fat to zero. Uh, fiber is one thing you want to take care of, though. So go ahead and put that at 25, because that's going to be the minimum for most people, if not more. You can set cholesterol to zero, sodium to zero, and potassium to zero. And uh, sugars to zero as well. Go ahead and change your goals. So goals are updated. The next thing you want to do is go to your settings, and in your settings, go to the middle of all those and click on diary settings. In diary settings, we're going to set it to fat first, carb second, proteins third, and fiber fourth, and nothing in the last one. So we're going to keep it simple, take out the things that we don't need to look at so that we can put in the things that we want to look at that will make a difference, and that is your macronutrients, fats, carbs, and proteins. Fiber is a special consideration for... Um, for overall health though. So meal names, we'll change it to meal one, meal two, meal three, and so on. So just feel, fill those all out. This is just for separating your foods. If you don't want to separate your foods, that's fine too. I just find this to be a little bit easier. Go ahead and set it in public as well, just in case if anybody at Hitrition needs to look at it or you want to add friends on, on uh, MyFitnessPal and have everybody keep you accountable as well. The more accountability, the better. Save changes. And that's that. So go ahead and click on food. And here we go. So you can see that everything is set at zero. So I have zero remaining. But what you're going to do is as you look at this page, you're going to start adding foods in one at a time. The foods that you eat, foods that you scan on your barcodes, foods that you weigh and measure. And those are going to add up. So those fats, carbs, and proteins will add up to your totals. So let's say I had to eat um, 50 fats for the day. 200 carbs for the day, and 200 proteins for the day. Go ahead and keep that in the back of your mind. And as you start to get closer to those totals, it's going to help you determine what foods you're going to eat on later in the day as well to fill in those macros and reach your body composition goals. So hopefully that was clear. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and um, email us at info at hitrition.com or go ahead and go to the Facebook page and ask a question there. Because you know what? If you have a question... Uh, probably somebody else has a question as well. So thanks for watching everybody and uh, look forward to the next video.